Yeah, what up, people, man? This is uh, cooking with the Jacobs. You know, it's kind of early on the Saturday morning, so excuse me, right? I'm just too crunk, pumped up for you. But uh, today we're putting down. Uh, we got some baking going on uh, from these folks right here. I'm going to probably do a little little sauce and I'll put it down with some of these reshards. I got an assistant in here. She's going to hook up some waffles for us. So we just waiting for the thing to hook up. You know, this thing here, we using this, uh, I think it's called uh, Krusty's uh, Waffles. You know, you put eggs, water, oil, and all that good stuff in there. But the, uh, the box of uh, waffles that we using, uh, these are like the best ones that we found, you know, that we found that taste legit. You know, you know I, I, I wouldn't want to use pancake uh, uh, mix to make waffles, even though they say that's what you're supposed to be able to do. So right now, I got, you know, four strips for myself in, 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 in the skillet going. And uh, that's what I got going down for my wife and them in the oven. You know, it's like, you know, they like they bacon in the oven. So... You know, it's all to the good, but that's what it look like right there. And uh, we'll come back. I'll be back with y'all. Once it's uh, looking good, we're going to probably be uh, cooking bacon in the oven for uh, at least at least 20 to 30 minutes. We'll see what's up. All right. We got our little, my assistant over here. She about to pour it in there. She done sprayed it up with Pam. She got the... You know, your little light back here with the green on it. Go on, go on. Go ahead on. See, now, you know, uh, they use this ladle so it don't make no no serious mess when making these waffles. You know, I had to tie her arm together to get her to go on. And uh, I had to put my foot on her neck to get her to make these waffles this morning. But, uh, you know, it's all jokes and fun. So she about to put this, fill this thing up how it's supposed to be filled up. And uh, we're going to close it down. There it is. You close it down. You know, it's a little, little waffle maker we got for a year. You cook it till the light turns green. So we'll come back and check that out in a minute. You know what I'm saying? This is what's going on with my little bacon situation. You know, uh, no grease. You just drop the bacon in the skillet. I ain't got my fire too high. See, I'm cooking on on that, you don't want to cook too high because then you don't smoke out the highs. All right, we'll be back. Peace. All right, now it's what 10 07. I'm about to take this bacon out the oven. Uh, we about to flip it though, it ain't ready. You know, I just want to show y'all what this time what it's kind of looking like. You know, uh. It's real easy to cook bacon in the oven. It's hard to burn it unless you just really ain't paying attention to it. But, you know, that's how my wife and my kids kind of like they bacon. So, you know, they cook a little different than, than what they do on the pot, as, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? But this is what it look like. And uh, I'll get back with you when we're getting ready to take it out. All right, now we're about to take this out. This is good right here. That's what, 10 over 9. I want to say, depending on how high the fire you cook, depends on how quick your stuff cook. You know, get you a little pan or something for you to, you know, put your bacon on, let that grease come on up out of there. That's what that look like right there. I'm going to put some sausage in there next, and just give it a minute. Yeah, look at them boys, yeah. They looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Think they might be, uh, what, they ready to come out? Uh-uh. Not yet? Uh -uh. Not yet? All right. All right, let's check these things. Got my little waffle expert over here. What they look like. They look done to me too. They crispy. A little crispy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead on them. She about to get them on up out of there. Yeah. Oh, oh. 
Okay, okay. She over there trying to manhandle the waffles. She trying to manhandle the waffles. All right, there it is. Boom, yeah, yeah. Now we're getting ready to you spray it up again when you do your next batch. You know what I'm saying? We're using that, using that pan with butter in it. You know, that's what we're using. You know, she about to go on in here and put it down. She pouring it up. Pull it up. Yeah, that's that drip. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Waffles go hard in the paint. You know what I'm saying? We be on that ancient mama syrup or that Mrs. Butterworth. You got to know what's up. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah, that. Come back, put some butter on them things. You know, give you that good little buttery flavor. You know, they, they pretty much ready to go. You break them up in the fours. You know, we still getting the rest of the meal together. So let's see what's up. So, uh, uh, there go my bacon from out the skillet. I'm about to pull out this oven bacon. Skillet bacon, oven bacon. I'm going to take them and set them on over here. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. As you can tell, we like some bacon around right here, but you kind of can tell the difference between uh, the oven bacon and the skillet cooked bacon. Oven bacon cooks uh, more evenly across than, uh, than the skillet bacon. All right, now we about to put it down with these sausage right here. We about to fry them up in the skillet and uh, see what it do. You know, that's them reshards. I'll tell you how about I took them, uh, cut them in pieces, and, I'm, and I cut them down the middle. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and on and drop these things in the skillet. And let them go on. We're gonna let them just brown on these sides. You know, because you gotta have you some meat with your breakfast unless you just, uh, you know, on that vegetarian kit. Alright, we're gonna check back with them in a minute. Alright, folks, we're back. Uh, but y'all see, I got this sausage over there. About to, you know, flip it. See what's going on with it. You know what I'm saying? You just want to keep it from this like brown. You know, little, little brown, little, little dark. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to burn it. That's the main thing. You don't burn it. You don't burn it. So you don't have a little black on there like I got that food. You don't want to cook all the juice up out of there. So, uh, 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 that's what it looks like. It's going down. I'm going to get over the, uh, take some of these eggs and, uh, I'm going to scramble a few of them. And I'm going to fry a few of them. Uh, you know, the kids and the wife like scrambled eggs. I'm going to use some tongue to and uh, uh, I'm going to put it down some garlic pot. All right, I'll be back. I'm back. Uh, we're going to take these things on that side of the air Like I said, you don't want them to cook too much, but that's, that's good right there. You know what I'm saying? You just use whatever, you know, flavor of sauce that you like to use. You know, sometimes these things go good on sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? Like I do you know, eggs and bacon sounds, but uh, you know, somebody put in a request for waffles this morning, so uh, you know, that's what we're about to put it down uh, on those waffles. But you know, we, we can eat, we can meat eaters around here, corn the food, so you know, be able to look that's what it look like. You know what I'm saying? So this up, I'm about to uh, you know, drop a couple of eggs, I'm gonna drop my five eggs, and I'm gonna slam them in the rest. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm gonna fry up 
crap and glue each right quick. That's one. Uh, I'm not going to keep the yolk in the middle. So, I'm going to bust it. I'm going to keep the yolk in the middle. I'm going to bust it. I'm going to see how it comes up because my lid is you know, cooking and baking and stuff. I'm going to skill it. You know, it might stick to my skillet a little bit. Uh, I don't put no seasoning in here because it's a lot of flavor just from the fat from the bacon because we use, uh, you know, that was a uh, hickory smoked bacon. So, you know, uh, uh, just, you know, watch fire. You don't want to, you know, smoke out the house too bad. You know what I'm saying? You want to see what it would do. You got to get this thing up. So I think I'm going to need, need some gloves. Much, don't take a lot, just put your little bit of seasoning in there. You know, I'm on that Tony Saturi, and, uh, and I like putting garlic powder in my eggs for whatever reason, so that's how I cook it for them. You know, you should just put your little something in there, you don't need a whole lot, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, you know, try to whip, whip these things up. Of course, anybody who wants to cook eggs know to be famous. You know, they put the eggs on top of the cook. I'm about to uh, get this uh, uh, skillet heated up. And, uh, and I'll be back when we uh, drop them things in, in, in the skillet. All right, y'all. All right, we back, people. So let's see what this skillet do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's still hot. Yeah, it's too hot. Butter turn uh, brown on you. That's when you know you don't, you don't put too much. It's too hot. You got to hurry up and drop the eggs in there. The butter is so burning. It has eggs all brown. Yeah. You got my eggs right there. I know I'm going to cook these on a the, the high fire, so I'll be watching my, my skillet just to make sure it you know, you don't want to, like I said, burn that butter and the hell you need to put all brown and stuff like that. It's probably going down. Yeah, I didn't put pretty much done. I'm about to take these on my pocket. I'm going to take them off. I'll run back to the child when we got the tree set up and paint. Man, look at that, a waffle sandwich, man. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Look at that. Boy, she got the eggs, the bacon, the the sausage on the oolah. She putting that scissor up on there. Yeah, man, that's what's up. All right, folks, this is what the finished product look like. Uh, You know, they down with that ancient mama. I'm down with that Mrs. Butterworth. Whatever syrup you get down with, it don't matter. That's what that finished product is. That's one of the kids. One of my other kids. That's my my wife. 
that's the big dog play. That's me right there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, till the next time, y'all hold it down. And peace.